To increase myelin production in the brain, we should eat a high fat diet. But that's a general recommendation and it doesn't offer any guidance. That's sad. I know there is a type of fat that hurts myelin restoration. But at the same time, there is a type that can do exactly the opposite and do exactly what we need. Hey, it's Dave. One of the biggest problems people make is eating the wrong type of fat. Set aside what might be your favorite. We need to eat the right kind. Let's start at the beginning before we talk about fat. Because how many calories you eat changes how much fat you should have in your diet. Consuming a 2,500 calorie diet which is how much I eat, should be between about 97 to 111 grams of fat per day. But here's the question mark. I only consume 61 grams. So where'd it go? Where's that extra fat? My dad is exact though. I eat the same food in the same amount every day. So the recommendation to eat high fat, is it wrong? Or am I just doing something wrong and I'm just don't know what I'm saying? No, it's n neither. I look at the type of fat. I focus on the most effective type to restore myelin. My diet is 24% fat. Not high fat in any regard. Instead of focusing on the grams of fat overall, I try to avoid the worst kind, like it's the black plague. Saturated fat is terrible for myelin restoration. I limit it to only 21 grams. I can't eliminate it entirely because a tiny amount of natural saturated fat is found in my chicken, milk, eggs, whey powder, and pumpkin seed muffin. But there is a saturated fat beast that I can avoid. Red meat it is high in saturated fat, and it's the worst kind of fat to make myelin. They say a diet containing excess fats and sugars has been shown to be detrimental to CNS function. Our results suggest that consuming high levels of saturated fat in conjunction with a sedentary lifestyle can lead to a reduction in myelin forming cells. This is when exercise, specifically weightlifting, enters the picture. I just released a video uh, recently about weightlifting. I'll put a link to it at the end of this video. There's evidence that weightlifting can modulate the action of diet on the CNS. High fat diet in combination with exercise training increases myelin protein expression. Unsaturated fat and polyunsaturated fats are the key for my diet. Leaner meats such as chicken provide that needed healthy unsaturated fat. Nuts and seeds like my walnuts provide a healthy amount of polyunsaturated fat. Combined with weightlifting, 
The best technique of them being my weightlifting protocol can provide a combination of electrical action potentials and needed fat that provides what our brains require to restore myelin. And it's restoring myelin with the help of what we put in our mouths can take multiple sclerosis ability to drain our lives and restore our myelin. Leave me a comment and tell me what you think. Are you wave loading yet? Are you controlling your saturated fat intake? Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss a video. Until the next one.